When he was three weeks old, I had a heart attack. So while I was recovering from my own health issues, Tittle started showing signs of not being able to walk properly and losing control of his legs. That's where the bond between us really started. I'm Alicia, and this is Tittle's story for GeoBeats. Are you going to get out of bed? He's unlike any other duck I've ever had. He is the most special thing that, that's ever happened to me in my life. He has a small deformity in his spine, which causes the issue with him not being able to walk and control his legs properly. He does need special care. He can't be left alone because he falls over onto his back and I always have to be around to turn him over. He has a little bit of a fear of water. He doesn't like to swim and that creates some issues with him cleaning out his nostrils. He needs to be prompted to do that, so every night I give him a big tall glass of water so he can clean it out. As hard as it is sometimes to see him like that, what it makes him special. He's adapted quite well. He loves his life. Such a car. There's a car. So much about him is quirky. He loves dinosaurs. He's very spoiled, but I always make sure he does get time outside for the ducks as well. He's half duck, half dog, and half human. He's very smart and he's very loving and very responsive and very inquisitive. I take him bushwalking, his eyes just light up. And he doesn't like a lot of people coming very close to me. He'll try and keep people away. Would you get out of bed for a snack? Yeah. He also knows some English words. He knows the word snack. Woof woof. You good boy. I don't know where his fear of water came from. Normally water just runs off a duck's back. He does tend to get very waterlogged and I think that's added to his fear over the years of water. I used to take him out on a lake swimming and, and in a kayak and he used to love it. Do you want to swim? But now it's a bit of an ordeal. I do give him a bath every week, much to his taste, but it's two hours of cuddly to calm him down again after a bath. He sits patiently and waits for me to pick him up and cuddle him. I've never had duck that just wanted to be held and cuddled and wanted to be with me as much as he does. And that's why I said he's very much like a dog because he just wants to be with me all the time. Cuddling him, that's usually about three hours a day. Our longest cuddle session was about five hours when he meets people. They just fall in love with the whole idea of this beautiful little disabled duck and the beautiful life that he does have and the interest that he shows and his passion for life. I've written books about him with disability awareness in mind. I grew up on a farm and I've cared for disabled ducks and geese for nearly 40 years now. They're not in pain or suffering. They should be given the chance to have a happy life every day. I, I tell him that he is my whole world and that he is he's everything to me. I just can't imagine my life without him. It's an honour to care for him.